all right to my awesome uh december clients whether mine or for other photographers this message is for you right everybody having a wedding or planning a wedding in december we're in the ember moons guys so this is for you right i just want to be able to be of help here and um there are things you can actually take care of i mean by take care of the things you can actually avoid in your wedding uh, errors basically in your wedding planning that will help the photographer get good pictures the number one thing right now here i have is the number one on the list can somebody do bang 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 all right the number one on the list is your mood huh your mood is very paramount like that day right you get people who want to get you angry people who, who you could just want vex now for no reason you understand you just have to take care of it it's not easy that part i i just have to make it clear it's not easy you're going to get angry you're going to get pissed but do your best not to hold on to that because that will affect your videos if you are doing if you're doing videos and that will affect the pictures if you're doing pictures and trust me you will not enjoy it when a photographer is showing you the pictures he has taken you you just be, you you'll be wondering why did i even spend my money like this like to become very very annoying and yes of course when you watch the videos you are not even going to like it because if you're having terrible expressions man it's not going to be funny trust me there's the part we call the couple shoot right the photographers and the videographers will know there's a part we call the couple shoot now what that part basically what it does is that it gives you room to be able to select to select pictures for uh what's it called yeah to be able to select pictures for the framing and then the photo books and everything right that gives you good pictures it gives you time with your photographer and videographer basically right to, for them to be able to take you proper and advanced pictures rather than just the random pictures that they will be taking during your wedding so you will not want to spoil that trust me at number two bang bang bam comes your arrangement and planning which i suppose i've been doing from for a very long time right some some people take some people take one year planning for their wedding some people take five months six months even two months spending last last bar everything just depends on how much do you have in your bank account so how about those who have moderately and still want something standard for their weddings is it that you cannot get that of course you can what do what do you have to do to actually get that brother and sister uncle auntie my bride to be groom to be is going to be it's, it's very simple all you need to do is basically just plan yourself make sure that your outfits are given to a very good tailor or fashion designer that is if you're not renting a gown if you're renting a gown it's going to be based on your bride of course whatever it is that she likes is what you get for her right and i'm very sure she's going to be very much considerate because she's your bride she's going to be considerate on how much you have and all that but just get something interesting that when you are in it you are happy that you are in that dress do you understand right so bang, 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 bang. here we go number three right oh, wow. my, my, bang, bang, bang. Stop all right number do three do we are going to be going for something very important too right something extremely important and that is decorations guys like your decoration cannot be overemphasized and that is why we work hand in hand as vendors because everybody has a plus to making your wedding success so when when we're talking about your decoration you don't play with it you don't joke with it you don't make it look like uh it's something you don't need or you understand you you you, you basically need your decoration to be fine and go out for the things just budget what you have but somebody who can actually still deliver you understand we still have people who you pay moderately and they give you the best that they can and you still have people who you pay your plenty and they still give you the best they can so whichever you can afford go for it so i just hope i've been able to help a bride and a groom here basically just check for the vendors you trust that is one you have to trust believe in their services you have to believe in their services because if you don't trust me you will not yeah you, you, basically you might end up complaining about every every other thing they'll be doing so the number one thing has to be the trust in the vendors that is one believing in those vendors like whatever it is you can deliver you believe in it 
very very paramount and important and trust me go with your budget in as much as we pray to have the big and you know yeah everybody should try to work within his or her budget because at the end of the wedding we all we know is the wedding now you understand and we pray that you give us the wedding but the most paramount part is the marriage right stick with your budget so that you can keep your marriage afloat is that okay all right thank you and i uh, hope to have you guys next time boom